All right, this is fifth grade, module four, lesson 17, and we're going to be entering the world of decimals, uh, but we're going to be doing it from a position of learning all or using all the stuff about fraction multiplication that we've done so far. And so we're going to treat decimals not as just a, a whole new series of rules that are, oh, it's just like whole numbers, only now you have this extra dot. Instead, we're going to be treating decimals as fractions because we've spent all this time understanding fractions. So let's use that understanding to go into the world of decimals. So let's get started on this. So we're going to start with a couple of examples. So we begin with, uh, let's see, 4 times 1 tenth. So that's 1 tenth. So 4 times 1 tenth is going to look like this, 4 times 1 tenth, which is 4 tenths. All right, and then 4 tenths is 0 0.4. All right, and then, so the thing I want you to notice is we started out with a 4 right here, but then when we multiplied by a tenth, it moved to here. It moved, oops, I should put the decimal there. So it moved to right here, 4 tenths. So multiple, and then let's do this other one, which is a hundredth times four is equal to four hundredths, which is equal to 0 0.04. So on this one, we can see that we started out with a four in the ones place, but by multiplying by a hundredth, it moved over to here. So it moved two places to the right. So when we multiply by a tenth, here's the big kicker here, when we multiply by a tenth, our digit moved one place to the right because it got smaller by one tenth. So it got smaller by one column. When we multiplied by a hundredth, our digit got smaller by two columns or two uh, a hundredth. It got smaller by a hundredth. So it went two columns to the right. And that's the big kicker that we want to be paying attention to uh, as we study uh, decimals and fractions. So another way for us to think about this is we could think of it like area, like we have been. So this 6 tenths times 2 tenths, well, the first thing we're going to do is we can think about this as uh, 2 tenths. So let's color in. 2 tenths, so here's our 2 tenths right here, and there's our 2 tenths, and now I'm going to think of 6 tenths, so 6 tenths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, is going to be this much right here, so that is 6 tenths, so we've got our 2 tenths, and our six tenths, and so this is our answer, six tenths of two tenths. And so we can see that by counting all these little pieces in here, that's 12 of them out of a hundred total. So this is equal to six times two on top of 10 times 10. So that's 12 hundredths. And 12 hundredths, if we want to think about that, so we 12 hundredths is 12, and then when we multiply by 100 hundredths, that's going to move each of these digits two places to the right. So that's equal to 0 0.12. All right. So on this one, we've got this number 1.9. So we're going to find 6 tenths of 1.9. So first, let's draw a picture of what 1.9 would look like. And through the magic of video editing, we can see that 1.9 is right here. So it is an entire hole shaded in, and then 9 out of the 10 columns over here. Now, 6 tenths means we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 tenths is right here. So that means we are 
we want six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six tenths right here. So that's all of this. So six tenths. So how are we going to count that? Well, a quick way to count that would be we know we have ten going this way, six going this way. So that's sixty. That's sixty. And then over here, um, so that's sixty hundredths, isn't it? Because it's sixty out of a hundred. And then over here, we've got nine going here, six going here. So that's fifty-four. So that's fifty-four hundredths. So all together, we would add that together. And so 60 plus 54 is equal to 114 one hundredths. Now 114 one hundredths. So that's going to be 114. And then a hundredths means we're going to move those digits two places to the right. So we end up with 1.14. It's equal to 1.14. Now another way to think of that exact same problem is we could think of, oops, I'm going to zoom in here. Whoa, I'm all over the place. We can think of 6 tenths as 6 tenths, and then we could think of 1.9 as 19 tenths. And then when we multiply, we're going to get 6 times 19 in the numerator and 10 times 10 in the denominator. So 6 times 19 is 114, and 10 times 10 is 100. And so there's our 114 over 100. And as we already looked at in the previous problem with our cool little um, place value chart, that 114 would look like this, but dividing by 100 or um, multiplying by hundredths would move each digit two places to the right, and that's how we get 1.14. So that's a second different way to look at that same problem. Now we're going to practice here. So let's start with this. First one is 13 tenths times 5. And that's going to equal 13 times 5 over 10. So that's 65 over 10. Now 65 over 10 is going to be 65. And then because our denominator is 10, that means our shortcut is our way of understanding it is that means each of these decimals is going to, I mean uh, digits, is going to get moved over to the right because we're getting it smaller by a tenth, by dividing by ten or multiplying by a tenth. And so that's going to give us 6.5 right here, 6.5. Now here we've got 13 tenths. Now this is going to be times 5 tenths. That gives us 65 over 100. So 65 over 100, here's our 65 because we've got 6 tens and 5 ones. So there's our 65. But now our denominator is 100, which means our digits are going to get moved over two columns to the right. So now we have point 65. So we properly call that 0. 0.65, meaning we have nothing in the whole place, uh, whole values, in the ones value. So it's 0 0.65. And then the last one, 0.13. So that's going to be 13 over 100 times 5 over 10. So that's going to be 65 over a thousand. Oh my goodness. 65 over a thousand. So let's get that going over here. So 65. And if our denominator is a thousand, that means we're going to be moving our digits three places to the right. So the five is going to move over to here. The six is going to move over to here. And we're going to have that which means we have nothing in the tenths place. So there's our answer, point 
zero six five. So point zero six five. So it's polite to put a zero in the front of the decimal. And uh, so ideally, students are going to be seeing a pattern that when we have a 10 in the denominator, the digits get moved one place to the right. 100, the digits get moved two places to the right. And 1,000, the digits get moved over three places to the right. And our last slide for this video. And it says, Jennifer makes 1.7 liters of lemonade, and if she pours 3 tenths of the lemonade in the glass, how many liters of lemonade are in the glass? So essentially what we're being asked to do is find 3 tenths of 1.7 liters. 1.7 liters. So that's really 3 tenths times uh, 1.7. And we can think of that as really 3 tenths times 17 tenths. So 3 tenths times 17 tenths is going to be, is going to be 51 over 100. Now how did I get that? Because really... The numerator is going to be 13 time, uh, 3 times 17, and the denominator is going to be 10 times 10. So, 3 times 17 is 51, and 10 times 10 is 100. And so that's our answer, and as a decimal, it's going to be 0 0.51. So how many liters of lemonade are in the glass? It's going to be 0 0.51 leaders. And that wraps up grade 5 module 4 lesson 17 where we are connecting the concepts of de decimals to the concepts of fractions.